Hey guys, welcome back to Customizing My Veloster. Today we are installing an oil catch cam made by Boomba Racing. As you can already see, I've already installed it because the video that I had got deleted. So today we are reinstalling it. Now we're gonna ask, why do we need an oil catch cam? What's it good for? Do you need one? Does it improve power? We'll answer these as we go along, but let's go ahead and get started. All right, that's about as far as I'm gonna take. All I had to take off was the cover and disconnect the hose clamps to the actual old catch can. So I just went and did that. I'm not gonna mess with these hoses because if I take them apart, I'm gonna lose probably hose because I have the a certain kind of grip on these things. But Boomer brings you all the necessary equipment to install this. What you'll need is a, a flathead, a little Allen, a little Allen head and a 10 millimeter. One of the biggest things you're gonna have to find is a location for your oil catch can. Now Boomba sends you a bracket that will fit right here on the stock with the stock intake. I do not have a stock intake. This does not fit. You're supposed to just remove these bolts, place them here. The hoses are long enough, but the issue is that don't fit. So if you're like me and you got this as a secondary mod or a first mod, you're gonna have to relocate it. I have found for the hose and everything that I got, the best location is right here, as you can tell by my fantastic job. Now when installing your old catch can, you are gonna have to make one modification that is not a permanent mod, but it is, because you can always reconnect these hoses, but it is one that you have to do to your engine to make this work. So you're gonna find up here on the top of your valve cover, this, there's only one hose, and it's this one, you cut it, you'll cut, the one that goes to your intake, you'll know it's those because it connects right there to your intake. And you'll take it and you'll cut it right in half and you'll find some little connectors, hose connectors. You'll put them in and then you're done. The reason why I went for Boomba is because it has a dipstick. The dipstick is basically like a car dipstick where when you pull it out, you get to see the level of how much is in here. Now you don't want it to be plumb full, obviously. You want to dump it every thousand-ish miles. Weather actually changes it. But also, it's blue. I like the blue. It looks good. Besides the color, it does come with a baffle. When the oil sprays in here, it won't just go right back into the intake tube and basically just negate the effect of a oil catch can. So the oil catch can, as you know, collects all the unnecessary gunk that goes back into your intake, that goes on top of your intake valves and dirties them up. That is how intake valves get dirty. And this engine is a direct inject engine, which means that the fuel is directly injected into the combustion chamber and does not go on top of the intake valves. So all this gunk that is coming from your engine itself, going right onto the intake valves, just cakes on there. I installed mine at 65,000 miles on my engine. When should you do it? As soon as possible. But this little thing should be your first mod. Yeah, that thing. That thing should be your first mod because it's preventative maintenance. And it's, why don't car manufacturers do it? Well, it's more maintenance, it's more things you have to do. And for most vehicles, it doesn't get caked up too bad, like the port injection. But for the direct injection, it definitely gets caked up, as you can see. So what about the other engines? Other engines are port injected, meaning the fuel injectors go right here, and they spray, in, well, they don't go directly right here, but they go pretty much close to the, Combustion chamber is possible. They spray fuel and it goes on top of the intake valves as well can dirty and clean them. That's why you have fuel additives that clean the intake valves. So now that we know that an oil catch can can just, is basically just preventative maintenance and it doesn't really do anything for your car. It doesn't add power, it doesn't add anything spectacular. All it is is a maintenance mod, but it'll prevent it from say another 100,000 miles if that engine lasts. My power won't diminish to uh, the airflow, it will diminish basically because of wear and tear. What in the now, why did I choose this spot? You now use common sense, gravity falls, hot oil moves better than slow oil. So if you have, a, if you have this, up, if you have your oil catch can up here, you have to push the oil up. You don't want to do that. You don't want to have the oil to be pushed up and then back down. You want it to go down and then back down. That's all you want. It's easy. It, I don't know what else to tell you. And also, this is protected by a plastic. The radiator is right here, but it's protected by a plastic. And it's big enough of an area that I can put my hand in and empty it if I need to be. And how the hell did I do this? But this is simple. It's very cool. It's right in front and center. And I like the blue, and I want to see the blue. <laughs> 
Just get those hoses right on. And it's that simple. That's all it takes to install it. I've had this on for about 10,000 miles. I drove a whole oil change, which I changed my oil every 5,000 miles. There are some times that during that whole 5,000 miles, this doesn't even get touched. There might be a little bit on it, but then there's times that I will drive 800 miles. This thing will be half full. Now, weather, cold weather will make something happen where this fills up faster in colder weather. And there you go. It's all it takes. It's all it takes for a little bit more preventive maintenance. Now the key things that we're going to take away from this video, oil catch can is needed for a direct injection more than it is for a port injection engine. So if you own like a Kia or a Hyundai and some other vehicles, you might want to invest in one of these just so that way your intake valves stay clean longer and you don't lose power faster. You want to check this, I would say every thousand miles, pretty simple to do. You just, my hand could just go in here and just twist it off. I also can just take this little thing, this little dipstick right here, this little cute guy, and I can look at it and be like, I can't see shit. I guess it's empty. Don't lose the O-ring. And yeah, that is all it takes to install the oil catch cam from Boober Race. And I hope you guys like, please like the video and subscribe. And I don't know what else I'm gonna do. Probably hot side, downpipe. That would be nice.